Hi friends, now we're going to talk, a, talk about invoicing. So these invoices are related with vendor invoice or anything outgoing from your system. So you need to pay the vendor. So this is related with defaulting payment methods based on your vendor master. Okay, so what happens is let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go to FB60, okay, and here if you notice, this is the company code I'm using, okay, 1710. And this is the vendor I have. Okay, so this, okay, and here if you notice the payment method is blank. Okay, because the payment method is derived from the vendor master and based on how you are running for the F1 110, uh, the payment method, then then it gets picked up. So if I go to the BP transaction, so let me first go to I am already in BP transaction, so let me show you. I'm entering BP. So here I am. This is the vendor number. Okay. So I'll just populate this. This was the vendor number, right? And we'll pay, copy it. And here you can see the company code. And here it is C and D. Okay. So now I want the my business um, uh, goal is to default the payment method to something D. How can I do that? Okay. I can always code it, but I will not do coding because coding is not the way to go. Okay. So first, I have to go to this transaction. So this is the transaction I went. Okay. And then I have to find the respective payment terms. So if you notice, the payment term is NT30, right? So I'll scroll down. Okay. Uh, once, once I get NT30, so NT10, NT50, and now I am in NT30. I double click on it, and here I'll put payment method as D. Okay. <clears throat> so here, now we'll save it. Okay, it will uh, generally customizing request, so it will ask for customizing request. So, and it's uh, customizing request means you can move it to QA and production or whatever. Okay, now we have made this thing. Now we are going to go to this thing again to this transaction FP60. Okay, and now I'll put 1710. Okay, now I'll put the vendor. And if you notice in the payment, now it's paying me. So the magic is done. So you can default it in OBB8, although you have something. Let me try to. So what we can do is we'll put E, okay, and we'll save it. So I saved it to E. Now I'll go back, hit the back button, <clears throat> yes, and I go to FP60. And if you notice, in the vendor master, it's C and D, uh, the payment method. But here I put so let's I go here you see it's defaulted to me so no matter what is in the vendor master it will be defaulted to me. so which is a good thing which is a bad thing sometimes you know but ideally it should be <coughs> it should be the same okay so that's it stay tuned to my uh, sp channel and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day